Greetings from the Fredericktown homestead. I, uh, well, that's not a very nice one to show you, but I cut up these one by ones. Um, that first one I showed you tapers down at the end, but it has good meat from about my hand down until it gets to that wane. But uh, that will probably work for what I've got, I'm thinking of. What I'm doing is, uh, I'm uh, making uh, these pieces. And uh, huh, how, do I, how do I show you this? Bear with me here. These are shiplap like that, see? And uh, they'll fit right in that uh, babbit or rabbit, whatever it's called, rabbit, I think it's called. Um, and uh, the first time I started doing this was with the smokehouse in mind. Well, I think I got enough for the smokehouse now, but I'm looking at now at uh, a crate made that way. I'm using some of the old cherry. Uh, we've used a lot of my new cherry for the house, so I don't feel bad about using some of the old cherry for a crate. But, uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm also, uh, actually, I'm finished with doing those bat rabbits. I'm now back to uh, cutting four inch, planing it six sides, four sides, I guess four sides. And, well, six sides, because I cut off the ends in most cases. Um, it's not plain, but it's fresh cut. Um, that is so we'll have more wood for the door project. We're going to be uh, making doors in the house more. The rail work should come for the um, sliding barn doors very soon. And uh, I wanted to see the little ones are out here moving the red roofs. I wanted to see what they did to that pumpkin. If you're not a YouTuber, you might not know how hard it is to walk and film at the same time. It's uh, difficult. The tendency is to look down and to point the camera down. Well, they didn't finish the pumpkin, that's for sure. There's not much left to it, though. Hold it. Can I it? Oh, look at the, just the hide left right there. Yeah. On fresh grass for the night. They've just been fed. They're uh, not taking long to finish that off.
Yeah, they eat those pumpkins down pretty well. This one right here has uh, less than an eighth of an inch left. I eat the seeds first. Uh, you wouldn't think a chicken had them blown enough to get a chicken down and go it, but they've all got seeds in there. They uh, put the seeds from today's cleaning in there, but uh, they put them all in one big heap. So just a couple of chickens get the benefit of that. But, uh, that one's got a prize. Right there. Quite something, quite something. We have the hunters here, the hunters' cars here, and uh, they're from Toledo. They pay to hunt this property. I don't know if they've gotten anything. They were here this morning, they're here again tonight. Turned out to be a pretty nice day. It's a little chilly. You wouldn't want to be out here without a hoodie on, but it's pretty nice. Tomorrow night, not tonight, but tomorrow night, is predicted to be a frost. A little bit more green stuff on the compost. Seth put manure out here yesterday. That's good. That's out of the barn. Needs moisture, but uh, other than that, it's pretty good. My livestock guardian dog barked his brains out last night. He barked and barked and barked and barked and barked all night long. Huh. Alright, well, God bless.